cancel Mr. Mwite, and then we will have uh, Senior Council Mr. Ngatia and Professor in that order. Madam Chief Justice, uh, members of the court, I would please plead with you to bear with me, but we do need you to clarify again that what we are about to listen from my learned senior Paul Muite and my learned junior, one of my favorite pupils, Mr. Isaman Su, is not the case that was not admitted. It is a response to your questions. I thought we settled that. We take offense <laughs> to these lectures. No, We're in a court of law the before the Supreme Court. Let's leave the lecture. We settled that. Please, uh, uh, senior counsel, are you the one taking the floor? Okay. Oh, it's, uh, Mr. Issa, please take the floor. The Honorable, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, and the Honorable Members of this court. My name is Jotham Arua. I'm here to answer a specific question that was addressed to me by the Honorable Justice Lenaola. He had asked a question on behalf of the four commissioners. What were they doing at BOMAS? We saw them reading some results. Was their walkout an afterthought? That's the question I will be answering and after that, I will cede the floor to my colleague, Apo Lomboya, and thereafter, Issa Mansour. Madam Chief Justice, the four commissioners have explained and clarified in their affidavits that they joined the commission in September last year. They soon found themselves having to operate in an environment in which all decisions were being made by the chair, who was operating apparently on the basis of a settled, firm, but fallacious conviction that all the executive authority of the commission reside in the chair. That heretical position was espoused in this court by none other than my teacher, the, uh, Professor Gidu Migai. But my teacher have forget, forgot to explain to this court the particulars of the law which vests executive authority on the chairman but does not do so on the commissioners. Madam Chief Justice, the Four commissioners have explained that as early as April this year, there were already protests, verbal protests being exchanged as between them and the chairman. And they have a next series of correspondences to that effect, which are next to the affidavit of Juliana Cherera but I would leave that to be taken up by uh, Cherera's lawyer, Mr. Apolomboya. Now, when they reached BOMAS, they were assigned many responsibilities, as this court has been told. Once again, there were protests, but the commissioners took the firm view that it would be responsible for them to let their infightings be made public for fear of eroding public confidence in IEBC during an election year. And it is for that reason that they chose to handle their differences diplomatically. Madam Chief Justice, these matters are contained in the affidavits. They have further clarified that although they were willing to tolerate corporate governance infractions with equanimity, 
they were not ready to do that with regards to serious constitutional violations. There is no doubt that they were not involved in the tallying or verification of results at BOMAS. The only thing that they would do is that they would be given results sporadically at the absolute discretion of the chairman to read, which they did, sometimes with embarrassing consequences, as were explained by Paul Mwangi in the morning. But they could not stand it any longer, Madam Chief Justice, when they were now being asked to sanction results and they were not being asked, given information that they needed before they could sanction such results. The four commissioners were quite clear that they had a role to play. And they were quite clear that the results would not be delivered unless and until the winner is proved to have received more than 50 plus 1 percent. 50% plus one of the votes. All they were asking for, Madam Chief Justice, was information that could satisfy them that such constitutional provisions had been complied with. But that was not forthcoming. Instead, their request was construed as an attempt to mod moderate the results, and that is what they could not stand. Madam Chief Justice and Honourable Members, at this point, allow me to call Apollo Lomboya to come and explain exactly what kind of exchanges 